I'm Callie from Beast Robotics and today we'll be making model lungs. For this, you will need hot glue or other glue, a clear plastic cup, three balloons, two bendy straws, a pair of scissors, and some tape. First step is to cut off the top of one straw at an angle. The next step is to cut the bendy part of the second straw across halfway, like this. Then, put the scissors into the cut you just made and cut up the straw a little bit. Then you can bend that part of the straw out of the way. And finally, fit the angled part of the straw into the cut you just made. You might have to cut the second straw a little more to fit the first straw in. The final result should make the shape of a Y. You can always cut the end of the longer side of the straw so that they're a little more even. The next step is to glue around so that the two straws stick together. I'm using hot glue, but if you don't have hot glue, you can use Elmer's glue. You'll just have to wait for it to dry in between steps. I don't want to glue all the way around to create a seal between the two straws. The next step is to cut the top off of two of the balloons. The next step is to attach the balloons to the straw, like seen here in the finished product. You will need glue and tape for this part. The first step is to put glue around the edge of one of the straw ends. The next step is to take one of the balloons, put it over the glue, and pinch the end, the edge. The next step is to put a dot of glue on the edge of the balloon and fold the edge of the balloon over. The hot glue is really hot, so if it's too hot to touch, you can always hold it down with the edge of one of the straws from earlier. The last step is to take a piece of tape and tape around both the top edge of the balloon and the edge of the straw. Make sure the tape sticks to the straw. Next, you're going to do the same thing with the other side of the straw. This is what the balloon should look like when you're done. To test it, blow through the end of the straw gently to see if there are any leaks. If there are, cover them with tape or glue. You are blowing gently, not trying to inflate the balloons all the way, like this. The next step is to poke a hole in the top of the cup with a pair of scissors. Get help if you need it, because the scissors are sharp. Once you have an indent in the top of the cup, twist the scissors to punch the hole all the way through. Once you do that, twist the scissors up until the hole is big enough so that a straw fits through. Use the straw as your guide. The next step is to put the straw with the balloons through the bottom of the cup 
and through the hole you just made in the top. Pull the straw all the way up so that the balloons sit inside the cup. The next step is to glue around the hole next to the straw to create a seal around the top. Next, cut the straw on top so it's only between one to two inches long. Do this once your glue is dry. The next step is to cut the third balloon. Before you do that, stretch out the balloon. Then, cut off the entire top of the balloon here, like this. This next step is kind of hard, so you'll need someone to help you. I have my sister Sophia here to help me. First, have the person helping you pick up the cup and hold it with the bottom up. Then, take the balloon you just cut and stretch out the hole. Then, put one edge over the top of the cup and pull it over the other edge. To get your model lungs to work, pinch the bottom of the balloon on the bottom and pull down to get the two balloons inside to inflate. This is how your real lungs work too. The straw on top represents your trachea in your throat, the two balloons on the inside represent your lungs, and the balloon on the bottom represents a muscle underneath your lungs called your diaphragm. When you inhale, the diaphragm contracts and pulls air through your trachea into your lungs. When it relaxes, you exhale, releasing the air from your lungs back into the air. Thanks for joining us. Tag us on social media with the hashtag BeeStemCamp and check in next time for another cool experiment.